In this video, we're going to learn about different operations on graph such as union, intersection, ring, some decomposition, deletion, and fusion. Let's see the operation one by one. First is union of two graphs. When we want to unite two graphs, a union of two graphs is represented by graph one, u, graph two. And uh, here we create one new graph, g, which are having all the vertex and edges from both the graphs. So, for example, here we are having this graph g1. Here it is having three vertices a b c and graph 2 is having three vertices b e d now to join this uh, or unite this we'll try to look for what are the common vertices vertices we are having in this both the graphs so i think we are having this vertex b which is common so we'll just uh, try to join this and uh, whatever diagram we will get that will be our union so this is what we will get after uniting two graphs so this is the union of two graphs next operation is graph intersection intersection of two graph which is represented by g1 which is the first graph intersection d g2 graph that is second graph now here we create one new graph g which are having all the common edges from both the graphs now uh, here to find out the intersection of two graphs we will always uh, try to look for what are the edges which are common in both the graphs so here uh, these uh, are the edges which are common in both the graphs so we will take only these edges uh, and this will be your result for the intersection of two graphs operation next operation is uh, ring sum uh, that is uh, ring sum on two graph is uh, when we want to perform ring sum on the two graph we will just create one new graph which are uh, having uh, edges uh, like which are having either uh, edges uh, in either of the vertices or either of the graphs so when we want to create uh, one new graph we will always look for the edge which is either present in the first graph but not in second graph or the age which is present in your second graph but not in the first graph so it's uh, just a uh, uh, kind of your uh, union uh, graph union minus intersection so here we will uh, see ki what is the ring sum of the two graphs so that is represented by plus in circle this symbol is used and uh, here two graphs are given given so this is this age is there uh, in our first graph but that is not in uh, the second graph so this will be our result for the graph ring sum next operation is decomposition now decomposition is simply splitting of your graph into uh, two halves so uh, the graph g is said to be decomposed into two subgraph g and h now if we are dividing our graph into two portion g and h how they will look like so there in the uh, sub portion of g and h uh, their union will be the original graph and there will be nothing no edge will be common in between that two, two uh, sub graph so the intersection of uh, this sub graph will be null graph so for example this is graph uh, this is what i am having the graph with me and i want to make a cut over here so if i will make a cut over here this graph will be get splitted into two parts that this is the graph one and graph two so this is called as a decomposition you are just splitting your graph into two portion so if i am making making cut over here so of course i will need what is the name of uh, this uh, what is the name of this particular vertices so the, here i will write this vertices you you will have the name of some of the vertices are repeated in um, both the graphs but no age is common in both the sub graphs so based on this we are having one theorem graph containing m edges now for example here in this graph we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 edges are there now this uh, graph can be decomposed into 2 to the power m minus 1 minus 1 so this is a formula like uh, there are different ways uh, in which you can divide your graphs into pair of subgraphs that is g or h now this will be the pair of subgraphs this many pair of subgraphs you will get if you want to decompose your graph so for example in this graph we are having total seven edges and uh, we want to find how many ways are there in which we can decompose this graph so the formula is 2 to the power m minus 1 minus 1 so it will be 2 to the power 7 minus 1 minus 1 which will be 2 to the power now this will be get 2 to the power 6 minus 1 and uh, which is uh, 64 minus 1 which will coming out to be 63 so there are 63 different ways in which we can decompose our graph and the last operation is deletion 
again uh, when we want to perform deletion we can either delete age or a vertex suppose if you want to delete age we will only remove the age without removing its vertex so if i want to uh, delete this particular age so i will just make cut over here i will just delete that particular age and i will uh, still maintain the name of that vertex in the graph so after removal of this age our graph will look like this now if you want to remove the vertex this is the another operation while if you want to remove the vertex it uh, the task will not be done if you will just remove the name of the vertex so uh, vertex presence will be there if you are not removing the ages uh, which are incident on that vertex so when you will remove the vertex you should also remove the ages which are touching to that vertex so all the ages should be uh, deleted which are either incoming or outgoing age to that particular vertex so this is the removal of vertex so if i want to remove this vertex i will also remove the name of the vertex along with that vertex i will uh, also uh, remove what are the ages which were incident on that vertex so all these three ages will be removed and uh, what uh, the result we will get that will be the our result of deletion of the vertex and the last operation is fusion so fusion of two vertex will be creation of one new vertex okay uh, so here two vertex a and b are fused if two vertices are re replaced by a single new vertex and when we will replace these two vertices by a new name that is new vertex so every age which are incident either on this a vertex or b vertex they will incident on the new vertex so for example this is the graph we are having now we want to fuse these two vertex c and d so if you want to fuse these two vertex if you want to create one vertex from uh, uh, based on these two vertex we will write the name of the two vertex uh, we will write the name of the new vertex as cd which is the name of both of these vertex so now this will be our new vertex instead of two vertex we are just creating one new vertex and whatever ages which are incident on either this or this vertex now they will incident on this vertex so how it will look like now uh, this age were incident on this vertex so it will be having um, yeah now this age will be incident on the new vertex that is cd now this age will be incident on the new vertex that is your uh, cd but uh, here we can say that this is uh, e6 age now here in this graph we were having this e6 age now as e6 age we have created a new uh, vertex cd so this will be given as self loop to that particular new vertex which is cd so this is our result for the fusion of the two vertices mm -hmm.